this video, I'll be showing you how to add a Shopify free shipping bar to the Shopify Dawn theme in just a few easy steps. Adding a free shipping bar is a great way to get customers to add more to their cart before checkout. But wait, Patrick, I thought you need a Shopify app for this. No, you don't. You can do this for free without a Shopify app and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it done. And stick around to the end of the video for an explanation of when it makes sense to use a Shopify app for this kind of thing. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're inside one of my test Shopify stores right now. And I'm gonna show you how to do this as easy as possible. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Dawn theme version 12. If you don't have version 12, it will work on pretty much any version of the Dawn theme. And if you're not using Shopify's Dawn theme, as long as your theme has a cart drawer, you should be good. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is you're going to click to edit the code of the theme you're using. Real quick, before you do that, make sure you're not using your live theme. If you're using your live theme for this, create a duplicate of that theme first by hitting where it says duplicate and then work on the duplicate. You never wanna work on your live theme. All right, so we're gonna go in, click edit code, and right now it should bring us to this window right here. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna see where it says snippets, click it. You're gonna look for a file called cart-drawer. I have it right here. Okay, so cart-drawer.liquid. Now, right now we're going to do Command F if you're on Mac or Control F if you're on Windows and look for cart drawer items. Okay, so I have it on line 73. So what you wanna do is click the line before it and press enter to create some space. Now, I'm gonna be adding in some code on this file. If you wanna get access to the code that I'm using, click the description down below. There should be a link to a page you can go to to get access to the code that I'm using. All right, so once you go get access to the code, you should see a title called code for cart drawer. It's gonna say the code for cart drawer. You're gonna copy that code and you're gonna paste it right here. All right, I pasted it in right here. Now I'm just gonna kind of fix the spacing because I like it when things look nice. Okay, so if you hover over where it says cart drawer, shipping tracker dot liquid, it's gonna say this file does not exist. And that is because we are about to go make it right now. So we're gonna save that and you're going to go back to your snippets and you're gonna add a new snippet. This snippet is going to be called, hold on. I'm gonna copy over the name right here. You're gonna put that name for the snippet. Cart-drawer, two underscores, shipping-tracker. Or you can just copy it like I just did. And you don't need to put the dot liquid part because it already does that for you. And then click done. You should have an empty page right here. We're going to add more code right here. So again, that link is in the description of the code that I'm using. You can get access to the page. You're looking for a title that says the code for cart drawer shipping bar. So once you find it, you're gonna copy the code and you're gonna paste it right here. Okay, once you got the code, you just paste it in right here and you are going to click save. All right, almost done here. So we added in the new snippet and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add in some theme settings for the snippet. That way in the theme, you can go in and you can customize how the snippet looks and how it works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close out the snippets folder. We're gonna open this config folder right here and look for where it says settings underscore schema dot JSON. This is where we'll be working. Now, you're gonna do command F or control F and search for the word cart. So down here on line 1,417, I see this is the setting for the cart type in our theme. We're gonna put in the customizations we're doing below this. So the line ends right here. We're gonna put a comma after it and then press enter. And we're gonna add in new code right here. So again, you're gonna hop over to that page that has all the code and look for where it says theme schema settings. And we're gonna paste in what it says there right here. All right, so the code that you pasted in should look like this, and we're gonna hit save. Okay, now that we got it set up, let's go check it out on the theme and see how it works. So we can either click up here and click customize, or you can go back to the theme admin and you can customize the theme you've been working on. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how this works right now. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go into your theme settings for Dawn, go to where it says cart, and you're gonna select the cart type. For this, we want the cart drawer, because again, right now, as it is, this only works on the cart drawer. But if you'd like me to go in and 
add some updates to this to make it work on the actual standalone cart page as well, you be sure to let me know below in the comments. Let me know how you feel about that. But, so they're gonna click drawer and we're gonna click save. And then beneath the cart settings, we should have access to a new setting called free shipping bar. You click on it and you click the option that says show free shipping bar in cart drawer. This will make sure that the shipping bar actually shows up when people are using it. And it gives you the option to turn it off if you want. So I set the minimum free shipping threshold to $20 and I set the progress bar color to this shade of blue. So let's save this and let us click right here so we can actually preview it. So I actually already have something in my cart right now. So let's take a look at that. I'm just gonna move myself over here. So you can see the free shipping bar looks like this. It'll tell the person how far away they are from free shipping. Now, let's say I go back to the customization settings and then I say, I want the, th the free shipping threshold to be something crazy like $75, right? I click save. I refresh the page. You are now $60 and one cent away from free shipping. And if I add more stuff to my cart, you can see the bar updates. Now, if I were to just keep adding stuff to my cart until I get to the threshold, huh, I'm five cents away. Oh my God. Okay, the progress bar will be finished and it'll say you have free shipping. And if not, it won't say that. And then if I delete everything from my cart, it'll be gone. So that is essentially how the free shipping bar works. Now, if we hop back into the customization settings, I could pick a different color for the progress bar. Let's say I go with this shade of purple or violet. You guys that know colors better than me know what this color is. I have no idea what that color is. I'm gonna go with purple, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna refresh the page and I'm going to add something new to my cart. As you can see, the color is different now, but it still works all the same. So you have the option to change the, the shipping threshold and change the progress bar color. As promised, here's an explanation of when it makes sense to use a Shopify app for this kind of thing. So if you're a merchant that's just looking to add a little simple call out in the cart to let people know that something has free shipping, that's cool. This works just fine for you. But if you need to do extra stuff like maybe add a gift with purchase, maybe add some kind of extra incentives at different levels of the person's cart, or maybe even track the analytics to get accurate depictions of how people are interacting with your cart, that's something you might wanna have a Shopify app for. So if you feel like you need an app, let me know in the comments below why, and who knows? I'm a developer, remember? Maybe I'll make my own cart Shopify app, and we can just run with that. Let me know how you feel about that. And either way, hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and support your boy, and I will see you on the next one.